an effort to maintain a high level of IAM security management, Okta recommends securing the Okta Admin Console and Okta Admins by applying multi-factor authentication for all Okta administrators. And while MFA is enabled by default, some Okta Admins choose to turn this security feature off in favor of authenticating into the Admin Console using only a password. Now during this demonstration, we'll review current policies applied to the Okta Admin Console and how to heighten the security by adjusting them to require multi-factor authentication. Now before we begin, it is important to ensure that Okta admins have enrolled in multiple factors or what are now referred to as authenticators. In the Okta Admin Console, you can use the MFA enrollment by user report, filtering it to display your Okta administrators to determine which Okta admins need to enroll in multiple factors. As you can see in this example, we have three administrators, and this one will require additional authentication enrollment to meet the security requirements for multi-factor authentication that we plan to implement. Once you've identified the administrators that will require additional factor enrollment, you can begin examining and adjusting the policies. In this example, Alex Foster is an Okta admin. Alex is logged into the Okta dashboard using a password. And if Alex clicks the button to access the admin console, you can see that no additional authentication was needed. This is because the Okta Admin Console has been configured to allow access without multi-factor authentication. Let's now adjust the policy to require MFA. Using Okta Identity Engine, we'll focus on the authentication policy applied to the Okta Admin Console. The policy can be accessed from the Application Sign-On tab or by using the Authentication Policies option under the Security menu. As you can see, we have two rules applied to the policy and this is the rule we need to adjust to require multi-factor authentication. So we'll use the Actions button and click Edit. We'll change the name and we'll move down to the bottom of the rule. To apply multi-factor authentication, we'll change this option from any one factor type to one of the options requiring two factor types. And for this demonstration, we'll select any two factor types. We can adjust the possession factor constraints to further harden the MFA settings. And we will adjust the reauthentication frequency to every sign in attempt to ensure any attempt prompts the Okta admin for MFA. Now you can see that the rule enforces multi factor authentication every sign in. Now, if Alex attempts to access the admin console, you can see that Alex is being prompted for multi factor authentication because it is now required for access. Now, if you have not yet upgraded to Okta Identity Engine and are still using Okta Classic, the process is very similar. In Okta Classic, we'll focus on the Okta Admin Console sign-on policy. So from the Okta Admin Console, we'll navigate to Applications and open the Okta Admin Console. Under the Sign-on tab, you can see that we have two rules. And while you cannot adjust the default rule, you can examine and adjust all custom rules you've created. In this example, we only have one custom rule, so we'll use the pencil to examine and adjust it to use multi-factor authentication. The setting we need to examine is found at the bottom of the rule, under Actions. As you can see here, the access is configured to allow authentication when the conditions are met and prompt for re-authentication after 10 minutes. But we are not prompting for additional factors. This means that an Okta admin can simply log in using their password. This is the option we need to change. So we'll check this box. And for this demonstration, we're going to enforce multi-factor authentication every time the admin signs into the admin console. Once changed, we'll save the policy rule. Now you can see that the rule enforces multi-factor authentication every sign-in. And if we attempt to log in as Alex, you can see that Alex is being prompted to set up multi-factor authentication as a required action for access into the Okta Admin Console. For additional information about applying multi-factor authentication to the Okta Admin Console, you can visit the Okta Help Center by clicking the link found in the description of this video.